think you've seen me eat meat before. I mean, the food. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode of SOL. We have my wife Megan here with us this time, and she's gonna teach us all about ice cream. I love how you said this time as if she's like <laughs> not in the background of every video. <laughs> we adore her here at SOL. <laughs> they ruined my punchline. <laughs> my bad. What was your punchline? I was gonna say not this not this ice cream. Oh. Oh, ice cream. <laughs> that was no. bad. Maybe moment, we saved you the moment ruined. No, I think we saved you on that one. <laughs> uh, in commemoration, and since she's drinking uh, a monster here, we're gonna give her her mug a little early. So Aww. that's your SOL mug. Good luck trying to get it out of there because I always have a problem. <laughs> oh God, the struggle's real. All right, so we're learning how to make ice cream today. Yeah, so we're gonna learn how to make ice cream for Megan. Megan works at a dairy farm and is a baker slash finisher. Yeah, yeah, I'm part of the finishing crew. Um, this pastry team, I don't know, we have a lot of names. We just finish the product to put it in the store. But they also do ice cream there too, so we're gonna learn a little bit about the ice cream making process. So, what do we need to make ice cream? Because I don't even know, I just know ice cream is iced cream. Like, I'm assuming there's more to it than just cream. Yeah, there, there's a bit more uh, to it. Um, so there's different recipes you can do. Um, there's also vegan-friendly recipes you can pick. Uh, you vegan? I was not even paying attention. Oh, I thought you were talking to her. I was like, why are you asking me? I wasn't even part of this conversation. What? <laughs> trying to get her engaged, and she's like, hey, there's something on my computer. I am not vegan. That's an interesting question, but no. <laughs> I think you've seen me eat meat before. I mean, the food. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> I don't. Did, did I... Oh, you get, you get the joke. I thought it was funny. No, 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 So it's like Justin's joke, it just bombed, right? It just, just wasn't good. <laughs> Look directly at the camera. <laughs> that went off track really quickly. <laughs> and so what's an ice cream? What are we talking about? So, <laughs> so, so there are other recipes. <laughs> there are other recipes. There's different recipes how to make ice cream. The one we're going to do today is a custard base. So it's pretty much just like making custard. And then you sell it out overnight and you make ice cream next day in your ice cream maker. All right, so I don't know, actually know anything about custard. So how do you make a custard? Um, so you have egg yolks and sugar, and you in this pot we have our cream and our whole milk and some more sugar. Uh, we're gonna whisk this together and we're gonna put this on the stove. This is gonna come up to a simmer and then we're going to temper it into our sugar and egg mixture and then we're going to put it all on the stove until it comes to not like water, but like almost a salad. I understood <laughs> three things and that was milk, eggs, and sugar. Yes. Okay. That's literally everything in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> but I understood none of the rest of it. So let's try that again. I, I think let's say okay. <laughs> Let's say we have, we have milk and sugar in here. How much yes. sugar goes in the milk and how much milk? One cup whole milk, two cups heavy cream, and one third sugar. All right, and then what do we have in that bowl? Eggs and sugar? How, how many eggs and, and what do we do? Five egg yolks and... Oh, five egg yolks. yolks. Yeah. Okay. Five, just yolks. Just yolks, no Ooh, whites. That's fancy looking. And how much sugar? Uh, another uh, one third. A third of sugar. A third of cup? Yeah. Okay. All right, so then you said we bring this up to temp on the stove? Mm -hmm. You're going to melt all your sugar in there and make sure it's all nice and liquid. Okay, and you do that over like what, like a medium heat? Yeah, that's it. Okay, and then... You said you temper it. What does tempering mean? Um, so this mixture is going to be cold and this is going to be hot. Uh, we can't just add the sugar and egg yolks into the the heavy the, the hot cream that's going to turn to scrambled eggs. Cook the eggs. So you're going to add a little bit of the cream mixture into the egg mixture and whisk it so it comes to it gets warm, not at that temperature, but it gets warm. So when you put that back in there, it's not going to Just seize up. Just straight up cook. Yeah. That's what you want. All right, guys, and we are back 24 hours later. Not really, actually. Megan uh, pulled some movie magic on us and made this base the other day. So this base has been sitting in the fridge for I think what like 48 hours now, a couple days. Yeah, just about. Yeah. And uh, you said I think it, it lasts what like up to a week or so. Yeah, that's for a week, but I mean it only takes 24 hours to set up. So. All right, so it takes 24 hours. That's a big key part of this, I guess. 
Um, it's still but, so amazing to me. I never, for some reason, knew that there was eggs in ice cream. Isn't that weird? <laughs> but is it just, you said, it's just, is it just in the custard kind base? Or is it all? I'm not cream? sure, actually. I just know how to make the... Uh, the custard cut. There's definitely none in vegan ice cream. Yeah, I would say vegan ice cream. <laughs> doesn't have yeah, there's none in vegan ice cream. So in front of us we have our two machines that we personally own. This is the one here. It's a giant bucket essentially with a little thing in the middle. You stick the ice cream in the little thing and you stick ice all around it. And I think it takes it takes like five to ten pounds of ice. Uh, and then it just sits and spins. How long does it have to spin for in that device? I don't know. I hate Too it. Too long? I hate that one. Too long, yeah, no. So and we... You have to keep adding ice to it, you have to keep adding salt to it, it's ridiculous. So it's over the top. Does salt ever fall in the ice cream with this version? So it tastes no, like... so no, there's actually no, a porthole in the back uh, okay. um, that stops it from going over the side of the container okay. if it does fill with water. Okay. It's cute for like families and with little kids. It's a yeah. great way to show them how ice cream is made, but it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> So then Very you went Very and bought this bad boy, huh? which is what oh, you yeah. used today. This, this is my baby. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this inside ring here sits inside the freezer. Um, how long should it freeze for? Um, I don't know, but I leave it in your freezer all the time because I don't plan when I make ice cream. I just decide that I'm going to make ice cream today for tomorrow. Uh, so it's always in our freezer. So leave it in the freezer <laughs> if you have the room. And then there's the paddle on the inside, and we have the lid that goes on top. So now that we have our base and our frozen container that will eventually whip ice, uh, whip the air into it? How does ice cream work? A paddle? I, I would say it paddles it air paddles into air it, into not it. whip. There's um, no whip. So this is like, I pulled this up before, so this is like a paddle. This is what yeah. it to actually whip. Like churning almost okay. is the word, I believe. All right, we're ready to make some ice cream? You're getting a spatula. We're gonna need a spatula. I'm gonna get a spatula. I like to use this one for ice cream. I don't know why. Makes me feel fancy. Cool. All right, let's make some ice cream. Now we wait. How long does it run for usually? Until it's done. Yeah, I don't run. I never Until run it's done. Right. Cool. I like that. I've never timed it. I'm just. How like, do you know of... when it's done? Like, so see how it's all kind of liquidy. So what do you just keep looking at it and keep your eye on it? Yeah, see on the edges how you can see it's already starting to form a, a film or yeah. a layer. So the paddle is going to scrape that off and keep churning it and eventually it's going to all become like that stiff yeah. outer layer. Ooh, look at that. I want to fix your face. Oh. <laughs> I thought you just, I thought it was a I bad joke. I thought you were being so joke. mean for a minute. I did Why? too. I did it didn't, it, didn't, it didn't work. I was gonna you look bad. Oh, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm leaving this thing. I was in. about to you... pick up on that too for a second. I was like, so excuse you. You. <laughs> you still haven't fixed it. <laughs> How are you? Okay. We have issues with our camera focus. It likes to pick the brown person in the room and make everything blown out. So we apologize. But uh, Justin told me to fix my face, and I assumed that was a, a fat joke. So. <laughs> and I did too. And I immediately jumped to her defense. Because you know, I honestly don't know how that could have been taken as a fat joke. Because I was looking at the ice cream and you tell me to fix my face as if I was drooling over it. And I was just like, wow, you do that? I mean, I am drooling over it, so that's not... I don't know why I judge you for that. This, I, I, can you get a napkin out? I have to put this down on something. and That's going to go all over this tablecloth. Oh, we're washing it anyways. I know. Watch the next video. <laughs> I don't, you got oh, wow. It. Yeah, it's very soft. It's very soft. So I like it not to be super, super hard when it comes out of here because it oh, would wow. it's sticking to the edges. immediately go into the freezer and then obviously you don't serve it when it's like this. I mean, you probably could, but it's gonna turn into soup real fast. It is best the next day. I'm sorry, I, I'm a professional spatula. You should know this. I'm a it's professional great. spatula straight. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me, everyone. I work in a bakery, I know how to use this thing. <laughs> I'm a professional. Alright, I'm going to start folding this in. Oh, nice vocabulary word. <laughs> uh, I only learned it because... I'm sorry, what does it mean to fold? What? You don't mix Do you like pick it up fold. and fold it in half? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it is already melting. You gotta yeah, that's fine. That was from Shit's Creek. So you normally re you put it in the freezer after the fact for the most part. Yeah, you're like obviously you wouldn't serve that to anyone, but... yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to eat it! We're going to yeah. eat this because it's going to be delicious. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! So I would let that sit for 
you know, in the freezer for another 24 hours and it does freeze nice and smooth on the top. I know, I want to make sure, I'm only going to go in for one bite because we live in a COVID world, but they're married so they can go for multiples. <laughs> but I want to make sure in this bite that I get a good chunk. Jesus. <laughs> Morbio, sorry. It's just, it's You're going to beat that later. <laughs> no, I'm not. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely not a pocket ice cream version, but this is really good. Alright everybody, so that's how you make ice cream. So we're gonna have all the instructions down below with the recipe so you guys can try it at home if you want to. We're gonna stick this thing in the freezer and who knows, we might do a little video of us eating more of it later. <laughs> that's a key because again, COVID world and I don't live here. <laughs> no one no one's put their mouth back in it yet. True, so. that's true, that's true. <laughs> We all have clean spoons again. We could do it again. <laughs> cool. What's the time? Bingo time. Bingo time. Let's roll that dice. Seven. Seven. All, all these Seven big numbers. Balls. Why did we agree to this ten-sided dice? <laughs> I think that was you. It was probably it me. Have been me. I wanted us to at least try to drink nasty things for you guys. Check us out on social media where we will pick seven bingo balls and hopefully we don't have to drink anything nasty if we get the danger number. Yeah, guys, make sure you like this video, subscribe right here, and check out our other videos over there and over there. Thanks again for Megan for helping us out today, and we will see you guys next week in a video I don't remember the name of. Check us out next week, and watch us make whipped coffee. I did it for you. Thanks. <laughs>